A new era for McLaren starts in just a few minutes. They will be releasing their Artura very, very shortly, and I am super excited for this. So we are going to be reacting to the revealing of the McLaren Artura, along with my thoughts of the styling of it. Let's get into it. Alright, so first we're going to react to the reveal of the Artura. Skip right here if you want to know all the performance specs of the Artura, and skip right here if you want to know my thoughts on the styling of it. But anyway, let's do it. We are waiting on the reveal of the McLaren Artura. Alright, one more minute to go. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's starting. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this for so- Hold on. Wait. What? Hold on. Okay. <sighs> Alright, now it's saying that it literally starts in 14 minutes. Not gonna lie, I'm really disappointed right now. Alright, 10 more seconds to go. I'm literally shaking with excitement right now. 3, 2, 1, and it's starting. And there's the logo of the Artura. Everything we've learned. Every drop of our expertise has been poured into creating a next generation supercar. Yes, they have with the Artura. The full force of McLaren. I think it's about to reveal. There it is. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Okay, okay. You can kind of see it back there. There we have it. That's the- Hold on. Hold on, show it again, show it again. Just wanna see something real quick. Yes! Oh! Holy! Holy! Oh! Oh my god! Okay, so I rendered this car, and it looks almost exactly alike. Nobody knew anything what the McLaren Artura was going to look like, but I literally rendered it, and it looks just like this. Here is my render, and here is the Artura. Yes, that looks so cool. Oh, oh, the whole car is revealed. And there's the rear. There's the front. Wow. Hold on. This sounds like a McLaren P1. And this is what you call rear wheel drive. This thing looks really, really clean. This is such a smooth looking car. All right, but that is basically it for reacting to the reveal of the McLaren Artura. Tell me what you guys think on the new McLaren Artura. Skip to right here if you want more details of the stylistic features and my personal opinion on it. But first, we're going to give you all all the specs. The Artura is the successor to the McLaren 570S, which held its place in McLaren Sport Series division. But now the Artura takes its place. Every part of the McLaren Artura is fully new, and it uses a newly developed hybrid powertrain from McLaren, which uses a 3-liter twin-turbocharged V6 that produces 577 horsepower and 431 pound-feet of torque. That was just the combustion engine, but it also uses one electric motor that produces 94 horsepower and 166 pound-feet of torque. Combine both of those numbers to produce a power output of 671 horsepower and 593 pound-feet of torque. And the Artura has an 8,500 RPM redline. And all of that power is driven through an 8-speed dual-clutch automatic gearbox. It can drive a total of 19 miles while just using the electric motors to power the car, but that is only if you're traveling at 25 miles an hour. It uses an all-new carbon fiber chassis called the McLaren Carbon Lightweight Architecture, also known as the MCLA. And yes, this thing is very, very light at just 3,075 pounds. 0 to 60 miles per hour in this thing can be just done in 3 seconds, 0 to 124 miles an hour in just 8.3 seconds, and it can do the quarter mile time in 10.7 seconds. And it has a limited top speed of 205 miles an hour. Keyword, limited. And what will all of this cost you? 225,000 US dollars. All right, now we're gonna be discussing some stylistic features of the McLaren Artura. The Artura mixes the styling elements between the McLaren GT and the McLaren 720S, mash both of those cars together, and the Artura is what you get. So we are going to start down at the front. So this car looks very, very sleek and smooth, very straightforward looking. I like the looks of this. It's very, very aggressive looking. 
The front bumper looks a little bit odd to me, but McLaren made it work somehow. Frontal design, really good. All right, now we're taking a look at the rear of the McLaren Artura. Now this thing looks a little bit too much like a McLaren GT for me. That's just coming from my perspective, but I don't really like the taillights because it's a little bit bland. It's just two straight lines going on the side of the car. Now we do have top exit exhaust pipes, makes room for a bigger diffuser, which can make more downforce. Also, I think top exit exhaust pipes look really, really cool. All right, I had to show this part, the butterfly doors. It looks super, super cool. Just how a supercar should be. The doors going up. Now we come here to the side of the McLaren Artura. Now I really, really love the design of the side of this. It looks really, really cool. It looks really, really aggressive. It looks like it's just going to come straight forward at you and dominate everything in its way. Super cool looking. All right, now we're going to move here into the interior. So we have P1 style bucket seats. I really, really like that. The steering wheel looks really, really smooth. I love the way McLaren designs their steering wheel. The gauge cluster is a little bit different. There's not much to say about the gauge cluster, but it is digital, not analog like some cars. Fully electric speedometer. One little thing in the interior that I think is super, super cool is that floating center screen. I really, really like that. It makes this car look super, super unique compared to others. Super cool looking. And that is basically going to wrap up today's video for now. I hope to see you in a future video soon. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe down below to help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers in 2021. It would really mean a lot to me and I know we can do it. And we do have tons of car content that is coming up, including super car vlogs. So if you're a car fan like me, you're going to like this channel. the six speed and if you did enjoy today's video go check out some of our other videos and sorry in this whole video that my voice sounded a little bit weird i just got out of the hospital two days ago and i hope you stay tuned for a future video Hundred horsepower. I like this Easter. Three SVJs. Insanity.